Hi, my name's Chris Robinson. I'm a wedding photographer and I take beautiful photographs that belong to you. And what we mean by that is we burn all the images that are taken of your special day onto one of these DVDs. We give you the DVD. These are high resolution images and you can copy them to your computer, distribute them amongst your friends and family and you can also take the DVD to your favourite photo lab to get your prints printed. So instead of coming back to me paying 15, 20 pounds per print, you can get exactly the same print from Boots for perhaps 85 pence. So it's a very good way of doing things. We also provide our standard album and this includes 30 photographs of your choice, not 30 photographs of my choice, but 30 photographs of your choice. And then that just leaves five pages at the end of the album for any other photographs that uh, you may want added that somebody else has taken. We charge £450 for a single location shoot and that includes the DVD with all your images and it also includes the album. If you're getting married at a church and then having your reception at a hotel, such as this hotel, the Bartley Lodge Hotel here in Cadnam, then we do make a small additional charge for that second wedding location. What I'd like to do now is to give you lots of hints and tips as to how you can get the best from your wedding photographer on your special day. The first thing you need to think about is whether you'd like lots of formal shots or informal shots. Formal photographs are all those lovely photographs of you with all your friends and your family and then you with just your family and then the bride with just her family and the bride and the groom with just the groom's family. And then you may also have lots of formal shots of walking around the church or walking around the grounds of the hotel. Informal photographs are those fun photographs that are taken spontaneously. So you get lots of informal photographs of people chatting, having a drink, laughing and joking. You may also get lots of photographs of the children fooling around in the grounds. These are informal photographs and you really need to tell your photographer which do you want the emphasis on. We recommend that you always have plenty of photographs of both groups but it may be that you just want a few formal and lots of informal and you need to advise your photographer. The next question is do you like black and white photographs or full colour? Digital technology enables the photography to desaturate colour photographs to black and white in less than 10 seconds. So whatever the photographer does, he should be shooting in colour. But if you like black and white photographs, tell him which sorts of photographs you like in black and white and he will make sure that you get not only the colour photograph but also the same photograph desaturated to black and white. In particular, and always very popular, is black and white photographs of the couple actually in the church being married during the ceremony. Can the photographer attend rehearsals? Rehearsals are really important, it gives you the opportunity to get to know your photographer better and also to discuss your requirements in greater detail with your photographer. You can walk around the outside of the church or the grounds of the hotel and you can choose where you'd like to be photographed. As you were choosing your wedding dress, perhaps you saw lots of beautiful poses that you would like your photographer to replicate. Cut those pictures out or photostat copy them and give them your photographer. It could be that your parents' albums are particularly attractive and you'd like to replicate some of those poses. Tell your photographer what you would like. He's there to photograph your day the way you want it. Your photographer doesn't know you or your family particularly well so it's very helpful if you can allocate a couple of ushers to helping the photographer go through a list of photographs that are important to you. We as wedding photographers know all the standard photos that we take, but sometimes there are particular photographs that are special to you. Your photographer doesn't know. So write a list of the important photographs and get a couple of ushers to help your photographer organise your group shots so that you get the photos that you want quickly, quietly and efficiently with a minimum inconvenience. Would the bride like photographs of her getting ready, perhaps with the bridesmaids? These are important photographs which can look very, very attractive in the album and it gives the photographer the opportunity to get lots of fun photographs of the bride getting ready with her bridesmaids. How did you meet? Where did you meet? Who introduced you? Perhaps these thoughts give you some more ideas as the sorts of photographs you would like for your wedding photography. Does the registry office, the church or the hotel where you're getting married 
does it look good or does it look slightly sad? If it looks slightly sad, then you may want to have your photographs taken with the background out of focus. You may prefer to have the background of your photographs well illuminated, or you may prefer to have a darker background. These are the sorts of things that tell us your style and what you like, and they're very helpful for helping us deliver the photographs that you want. Good luck, and thank you for visiting my website. I hope you found it very useful and lots of hints and tips in there to help your wedding day and your photography go really well. I hope you'll ask Chris Robinson Photography to photograph your wedding.